Good afternoon, hope you guys are having a great day. So I have done another thing. I went out and bought some more bulbs. I decided that I not only wanted tulips here, but I want them on that other side of this fence too. And while I was out buying tulips, I also bought daffodils. So I think I'm gonna line them up a little ways back here on this fence. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I got. And I've gotta get started on digging because we have cold weather coming in pretty soon. There's a hurricane down in Florida and I think we're supposed to get the rain off of it tomorrow. So I don't wanna be out here digging tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, cold weather hits. So I've gotta get these in. I still got 35 daffodils. I got a smaller pack of these. I thought they were really pretty. They're Angelique tulips. And then I got some value packs that had a variety of colors. These are a pride mix and a little bit different colors in here, a jumbo mix. And there's 12, so I gotta get to digging. So I'm thinking this space right through here will be a nice place for these tulips. Now these are gonna be a three to five inch depth and I'm gonna go with about five inches just like I did on the other ones over there. That way they're good and protected and don't come up just as soon as we have the warm weather because sometimes we'll have a warm spell in the beginning of spring and then it'll drop off cold right after that. This is what I use for fertilizer and I will put this in the bottom before I drop in the bulbs. Now just like the last bulbs that I planted, these are a three to five inch depth and I'm going to go closer to the deeper end and they're a two to five inch spacing and I'll probably keep mine pretty close together. I'm going to kind of line them out and see how many I have and how far I need to go with them. Pointy end up. Alright, I'm going to go to the pride mix. Reinforcements. <laughs> we had to take a break. It's very rocky right there. Seth doesn't like my method, so he's going to use a drill, or at least attempt it. Well, that is working, okay. Now, while I've got him out here, I'm gonna have him do these daffodil holes. So I've got 35 bulbs right here that I'm going to put back here. You got dirt in your shoe? Okay. I think I'm going to put them over here in front of this monkey grass. Maybe there and there. There's 35, so let's see what the spacing is on these. I'm just winging it here, y'all three to six inches okay so maybe every three inches I can go with that oh nice okay hold on a minute hold on a minute they got to be three to six in three inches apart three inches okay cool looking good While Seth's doing that, I'm going to fill these holes with bulb tone. What do I think? I got a batter. Oh no. Battery's dead? Yeah. Tragedy. What do we do? Get a battery. Oh, is there another one? Okay. Alright, so there was no battery in the shed. So. Hopefully, Seth can find one. He went on the lookout for one. I already found one. Should be enough to get us through the rest of these holes. Last hole. 
All right, I'm gonna get the fertilizer and put the rest of it in those holes and we're ready to plant bulbs. Cover them up and wait till spring. Thank you for helping me. I can put more somewhere. I think that's enough. That's all I've got. That I know of anyway. The daffodils come up first, like in March. So it'll be pretty to see them. And then the tulips near Easter. The first flowers to emerge are usually the daffodils. Looks good. These are called King Alfred type daffodil and they naturalize well it says. They bloom mid-spring. Light space is full sun to partial shade and let's get them in here. Of course you want to plant the pointy end up that's where the petals and that's where the leaves are going to come from and that's going to be the roots now i've got to find my knee pad my knees will thank me later if i use it I'm done. Tulips are done. I'm done. Got everything in the ground. I think we were close to 160 bulbs total, something like that, between up there, the back row of the fence, and right over here. So I'm pleased with that. I'm super excited about springtime when it comes. I um, know that our tulips come around the 1st of April, so the daffodils will be before that and that is real exciting so i'm going to take some of this rocky clay dirt that i got off the top of this soil and take it down to my compost pile and i mended it with some other stuff that i had and yeah sky's pretty we've got clouds moving in rain moving in soon which we need so desperately it is really really dry here so the rain will definitely be a welcome and I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll see y'all in the next vlog.